My name is Karen Brooks. I'm the Executive Director for People and Infrastructure at Sir Robert McAlpine. First and foremost, I guess I'm a statutory director responsible for setting and delivering the strategy along with my board colleagues. Um, what does People and Infrastructure do? Um, I am accountable for the People Agenda uh, for Property and Facilities Management, so actually the work environment that people are working in and then marketing and communication, so how we actually engage individuals um, and keep them motivated at work. In terms of what is Sir Robert McAlpine, we're a business that's uh, 150 years old. We're a construction company with a difference in that we are a builder with real engineering and technical services expertise and we're very much focused on uh, building Britain's future heritage and I guess the thing that makes us unique is our people. I think there are a number of things. I think firstly, I think the ability to be able to clearly articulate um, the direction of travel and the purpose of the organisation I think is critical in a simple, straightforward way. I think um, engaging your people and ensuring that um, you're constantly asking them for their input um, and listening to what they've got to say. I think third for me is the ability to innovate, to change, to continuously improve. Um, clients and the relationship you have with your client and, and more importantly in our sector anyway, the ability to attract the, the exciting complex projects which ultimately people want to work on whether they're current employees or whether individuals we want to attract. Um, so I'd say they're probably the key areas for me that I believe are critical in terms of for us as employers to get right. Uh, for me, I guess the word initiative implies a one-off, and, and this definitely isn't that. Um, it would be something called SRM Pulse, um, which, pardon the pun, allows us to take the pulse of the business on a weekly basis. So there is a survey uh, that goes around with four or five key questions, um, and that will be around line management quality, uh, reward and recognition, um, ability to be able to do the job, workload, etc. Um, and through engaging with individuals, we're able to understand at grassroots level what's going on. And the key themes, we launched this at the beginning of November 2019. And the key themes over the last eight, 10 weeks has been work environment, Actually, some of our project cabins aren't as conducive to productive working as they might be. Um, actually, uh, career paths and the ability to map out. Um, so we've been able to come up with some career mapping workshops that we can do with individuals. And then the other areas around the visibility of recognition. Um, so it, it's provided us with the opportunity um, to tangibly deal with some real issues uh, and pragmatically come up with some solutions. So for me, it's a real game changer for Sir Robert McAlpine uh, and definitely moving forward, we'll be using a lot more. I think the biggest challenge is the fact that the world of, the world itself and the world of work is constantly changing. You know, so whether that be artificial intelligence, uh, modern methods of construction, modularisation, robotics, etc. It's constantly changing and, you know, we need to ensure that we equip our people to be able to deal with that. So uh, a big thing for us is about learning uh, and providing a method for people to transfer knowledge, to be able to learn actually when they are able to be able to learn, so whether that's late at night, whether that's early in the morning. Um, so it's about introducing a new learning management system that enables all of that, that has all of the 
um, internal filters to be able to share learning and knowledge instantly but also is linked to the outside world in terms of external feeds that enables you to get the latest, if you're in the commercial community, the latest commercial information um, and that you are able to particularise it to your specific needs. I think it would be important to ensure that we have a very clear strategic vision and that we are articulate in a simple, straightforward way to our people. Um, I think um, being able to uh, educate our people in terms of the different methods, the, the different changes in the workforce uh, will be really important. Um, coupled with making sure that we continue to engage them constantly and we listen to what they've got to say and adapt and change as required. Um, I think we ignore the workforce and their views and opinions at our peril. I think it, it's imperative you know, that we, we continue to have that ongoing dialogue with them.